What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day. I want to first off by thanking all you guys who subscribe to my channel. If this is your first time watching my videos, hit that subscribe button for me. Hey guys, so the other day I just ordered a front bumper spoiler for the Toyota Highlander. It just came in the other day. Took it out of the box. Looks really, really simple. Uh, looks like it just comes with Phillips screws. You screw it onto the bumper and that is it. I'm about to show you guys the parts that came in. About to do a little bit before, a little bit of the after, and tell me what you guys think. All right guys, so over here on the bench, I have the pieces kind of laid out. Uh, I took one side out. Uh, this is the driver's side, and this is the center piece. It comes in three pieces, and these kind of just lie in place. So you just lay this over, and then you go ahead and secure it down with the hardware that comes in the kit. This is the hardware, just basically Phillips screws. So it's fairly easy to install. You kind of just line this up with the bumper and go ahead and put the screws in place and continue on to the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and jack the car up a little bit so I can get underneath it and get a better, better view for the bottom. Um, so yeah, here it is. And it's a little lower too, so it's gonna be a little less ground clearance for me to reach under there. Okay guys, so I got one side on. Um, one thing I have noticed is when you are lining this side piece, you have to remove the corner bolt out of the way or else this is not gonna go on right and it won't go on flush. So you definitely need to remove the corner, lower 10 millimeter. Uh, this one right here on the very corner. You remove that bolt and then it'll be secured with uh, the new existing Phillips that you're gonna put in. So that'll hold that in place. Um, but yeah, it's kind of tricky. You got to put that screw in first, and then work your way this way and kind of just make sure that it's flush. Uh, this is kind of a little recess here. Uh, that's gonna go along the corner of the bumper here like this. So it's kind of a kind of a tricky with one person. You definitely, if you had two people, one person holding the trim and you screwing it in and while they hold it in place and it's even, It'd go a lot faster, but it's only me, so um, I'm gonna put on the center section first now, and then we'll go ahead and put the last piece on. Just put this on like this. Let's go in here. Go ahead and grab one of these. Uh, hopefully, secured in place. This definitely would help with two people. I know that it's flush, but I am by myself today. Definitely help to put this below it. There's a corner one. spoiler is on it actually looks pretty good on it um tell me what you guys think do you guys like it you don't like it actually i think it looks pretty sporty uh especially with it being lower like this it makes it it definitely completes the look on the front i do want to get rid of that chrome kind of bothers me so i might wrap that uh might might take it off and paint it i'm not sure yet tell me what you guys want to see uh i might just wrap it because it's kind of a little more about do it yourself uh but yeah it looks really sporty yeah, the finish on this actually came out really nice, guys. It, it matches the bumper really well. Uh, that's kind of why I want to wrap this in black because it'll complete the look in the front. So that definitely might be next. But yeah, it actually looks really nice. 
all right guys um like i said before don't forget to like subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one